Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the lightning and we are going to potato pretty hard. So hopefully you're ready because we're already two ships down. But we've got a Yamato. A, we've got a Yami on our side. A Yamato. And surely that makes up for the two two person deficit, right? Having a Yamato on your team should be the pinnacle of naval warfare. Uh, except it isn't. Ever. But we are going to do our darndest to pull this match out. Uh, what can I say about this match? This match has a little bit of everything. It has ridiculous heroism. It has ridiculous stupidity. And it has ridiculous numbers that end up coming out of nowhere <laughs> so hopefully you guys are ready i think this is going to be one for the books guys uh, first of all let me explain some things this is my very first night having the lightning i do not know what it's capable of i have to test it and you test it by putting it into situations that are not necessarily the best possible situation but again unless you put things into situations that you aren't sure about you'll never find out what they're capable of and one thing I learned about this ship in this match was if you keep a cool head under stupid situations you can pull off some dumb things and I am one of those people who do dumb things a lot Okay, I do a lot of dumb things, and this is one of the things that has plagued me in my gaming career all the way back in the old days playing Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo Entertainment System. I do dumb things. I know what I'm supposed to do. I, I study games while I'm playing them. I study what works, what doesn't work in every situation that brings up, and at the same time, there are moments where I am so completely and utterly helpless that I just, I look back on it, and especially since I've been recording, I look back on it and I go, what was I doing? <laughs> like, why did I think this was a good idea? First of all, I just want to say, uh, sometimes I do things that are very, very smart as well. Like this. I know that there is a destroyer in this Oh my god! <laughs> he had the same idea! Thank god that we slowed down and are we gonna- Oh my god, please turn harder! Okay, we're good. Spartan, that's why I said you shouldn't have the propulsion mod. It really limits your turning ability because it keeps forcing you forward. Yeah, I, I got you now. Uh, I was gonna say that I was gonna park there and block that cap from being capped. Uh, however, the torpedoes said otherwise. But my torpedoes were a hair later, but right on target. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky. I have a pretty good plan when I go into a cap, when I know there's another destroyer. And the plan is, where would I be as a destroyer? And I send torpedoes in that direction. And now notice that I, I sent torpedoes in two, two locations, not all at one spot. Why? Because I'm not sure where he's at. So I test both areas that I would be. One is right at the edge of that island, just inside the cap circle. The other is at the other side of the cap circle, but right next to that island. And we do manage to find our mark. Now, now that we've done the smart thing and we've actually been, uh, you know, competent and shown our ability to predict accurately and dodge incoming fire, uh, it's time to potato a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. I am selling out to go for this Turpitz. Now, I am assuming that the Turpitz is going to slow down and stop before he goes into that island. So I send all of my... Oh my god, I'm spotted. Why am I spotted? Oh, because you just fired your guns. Well, that's okay, though. You just sent your smoke, right? Right? Yes, there you go. You've got smoke. You are now not spotted. You are taking fire anyway because people sp <laughs> spotted you initially. And, again, I get lucky sometimes. 
and he does exactly what I thought he would do, which is slow down, and he's gonna catch some torps because of it. In fact, he's gonna catch four of them. And that takes all of his health away, except, in true Spartan fashion, I have to leave a man alive with no health left. That's just the way I am. I'm a nice guy. What can I say? It's, oh my god, now I'm radar. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh, look at this guy. Well, I might be radar, but he's a nice shield. I think I'll just go ahead and back out of here a little bit. Let him get shot at. He takes some torpedoes because obviously that's what you do. Uh, I am still spotted. I'm losing my health rapidly. There are torpedoes in the water. There's cruisers out there. And I'm still reversing and trying to hit the gap between the islands. Not to repeat a mistake that I made earlier in the night. Actually, the game right prior to this one. Uh, that I got stuck on this island. Uh, surely I'm not going to do the same thing. Now, luckily for me, there just happens to be a smoke screen here. Uh, and... I managed to put it up at just the right time because I was gonna die there's no doubt about it I was going to die but I needed to stall for time for my team to catch up to me because they're coming they're, they're right there between the islands but I'm awfully close to things that can radar me again and staying here is just not a good plan. Especially that my smoke screen is now dissipated. But we need to flip this cap. And we do. Now, again with more potato. Okay? In my mind, we have this game. I don't know why, but we do. With my team pushing up with me, I assume that we can kill all of these guys quickly enough that we will be able to get some serious kills in and not have to worry about points. Notice the orientation of the Yamato. I know, it's a Yamato. But I don't think this guy earned the Yamato designation. He is definitely a Yamato potato. <laughs> Because he is sailing broadside on to Iowa's, and there's a Terrapits out there, and there's just a lot of bad dudes that can do him lots of bad things. And so he's sailing broadside on. So our one advantage that we had over the enemy team being 18-inch guns and 97,000 hit points is completely wasted. And he is not long for this world. Now, I am detected again by the plane. And it's time to get out of here. Yes, my team has shown up, uh, but I can no longer afford to sit here and take damage. I only have 4,000 hit points. The game is winding down. We're over halfway done. Are we going to sink the turpits? It looks good. And yes, we do. It looked like he took a round from a Yamato. Damn it, Spartan. Yamato, my God. Why is it so hard for me to say Yamato? And I should have sailed into B. I should have sailed into B and flipped the cap. Yes, there is technically an Iowa in it right now, I believe. I believe it's an Iowa. Maybe it's a Rishilu. I can't remember. Nope, it's an Iowa. So there is a, a, an Iowa in the cap right now. So if I were to go into the cap, it wouldn't do me any good. So I bail off and go for this Rishilu. This Rishilu is sailing in a straight line trying to catch up and get flank shots on the backside of my team. So I go into 2x2 tube tube mode and careful to fire four shots and then fire four more shots in the general location of the Rishi. We are going to try to get rid of him <laughs> because he doesn't know that we're aiming at him at this point. He has not had any anything to worry about, therefore he has no reason to change course unless he has ESPN radio in his head. <laughs> And uh, luckily for us, he doesn't change course, and he sails right into every last torpedo. Oh, never mind. I said every last one, but luckily, we didn't need to hit all of them. We just needed six of them. It's fine. Down he goes. And just like that, we're at 130. 
1,000 damage. And we're up to three kills. And it is now a three versus four. They have a destroyer. We have a destroyer. They have a couple battleships. We have a couple battleships. It's a very close game is what I'm saying. And it could come down to points, Spartan. So why are you still not going into the base? This is why I say this is a potato. Yes, I do some smart things. Yes, getting these guys off the board is a, a plus. You definitely want to do that when you get a chance. Uh, but you also need to make sure, as the only person that's fully mobile and able to... Oh my god, those torps look beautiful. Wait for it. Oh, come on. There's no way he dodged them. Oh my god. I'm a... I just potatoed it. Oh, we got him with one. That's still 12,000 damage. And that's our high caliber at 140,000 damage. <laughs> who thought? Who would have thought 140,000 damage would have to be your high caliber? That's a huge damage game. And to just now get your high caliber. Like, that's PC-esque. So I popped smoke, knowing that he just had flooding, and knowing that it was, you know, inevitable that he popped his damage control, we start trying to light him on fire. Because if we land it and we get him on fire, he will likely burn to death before we have to worry about him uh, being able to heal. Or not heal, but uh, repair. Damage control. And then he loses most of his health anyway. Which is preferable. And then I potato a shot and still managed to hit it. <laughs> I don't know how that one hit. Maybe it knew where I wanted to aim. And we're about three seconds away. Are we finally going to get a fire? No, we're not allowed to have a fire. So now my smoke is gone. I'm going to get detected. It's inevitable. But I need to finish the Bismarck. And there, finally, we get a fire. This thing is good at setting fires, but sometimes it just refuses to. I don't know why. But we're down to a two versus three. I still feel like we could pull this off. If I can get a couple more kills... By that, I mean three more kills. I think that we have a chance. <laughs> uh, we are just shy of a Kraken right now. I have less than a third of my health. There's a battleship sailing right towards me, which is a good indication that I am going to get some more damage. Right? I mean, it's kind of hard to miss a battleship when... Oh, wait, he's not sailing towards us. He's sailing away from us to hide behind the islands because he knows what he's doing. A battleship would have to be crazy to give up a lead at this point. Sorry, I just had to sneeze. Hey, look! A battleship had to be crazy to come charging straight into this, knowing full well that I'm over here in a destroyer ready to nuke him into oblivion. But unfortunately for me and my team, I am going to fail miserably at this because I'm trying to anticipate what he's going to do and I wait and wait and wait for him to change direction. He never does. So I'm going, okay, he's not going to change direction. We'll go ahead and get the torps in the water. They travel pretty, well, they're not fast by destroyer standards. But they're quick enough to cover this short distance pretty quickly. And unfortunately, he manages to absolutely dodge every last torpedo and that's heartbreaking but that's the price that you pay sometimes when you use tube by tube in the lightning and that's one thing that I learned as much as tube by tube is amazing if you miss they just laugh at you as they sail past every one of your torpedoes because you sent them so close together when you have a spread, you have a better chance of actually uh, hitting a target like that, even if they change course. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it's almost like they have a uh, destroyer out there ready to do damage to me. And luckily, my team just got ram killed by their team, who also got ram killed. It's great. I back up, dodge the torpedoes like a pro. There's less than a minute left. I have torpedoes at the ready. And there is a light, or no, it's a Z-23, sorry. Z-23 right in front of me. 
I'm going to get into a fight with a Z-23 with less than all of my hit points. He takes a good chunk of them right off the bat. And so we swing around to get the rear guns in because we want to get as much damage as possible before the inevitable. Oh my god. We just ran aground. He can't kill me. Only way he can kill me is if he shoots me in the booty and I'm going to back up and give him the perfect opportunity. But because he keeps sailing for... Oh my god, where did that come from? <laughs> I f I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a jump scare for me. But, again, I I did pretty well in this match, even though there was a lot of potatoes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, hopefully you got a smile out of it. But 2400 base XP, 4 kills, top of the leaderboard, not bad. 158,000 damage, 13 hits, 2 devastating strikes, all the good stuff. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.